What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to get iOS 8 on your iOS device right now. Uh, this is the final GM build that's going to be released on September 17th to everyone, but you can get it right now. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to do that. As you see, I have it on my device right here. I've actually had it for a while. This is not a developer build. This is the final version. Alright, so let's get into it. Now the first thing you got to do is download iOS 8 for your device. I'll have a link down below to my website. Uh, that'll have all the download links over there, so you can go check that out. Again, it's right down below this video. Uh, so make sure you're downloading the right iOS 8 version for your device. Uh, there may be a little model number you have to look at. It'll be like right here on the back of your phone, uh, right there. So just go ahead and look at that. Just again, make sure you're downloading the right version of iOS 8. It's very important. Now while that's downloading, what you can do is go ahead and sync and back up everything on your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod, whatever you're doing this on. Uh, make sure all of your data, your contacts, your pictures, everything is either synced up to iCloud or iTunes. Make sure you do that because if something goes wrong, you could lose all your stuff. But if you have a backup of it, you can just sync Sync your right uh, back up to your phone and you're good. The next step is you want to open up iTunes and you want to make sure it's updated to the latest version. Uh, if it's not, it could cause problems when you're updating iOS 8, so just make sure you got that good. Now, once you have iOS 8 downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Uh, maybe in like a little folder, like a little zip file or something like that. Just go ahead and extract it out of that. And you want to put it on your desktop or just somewhere that you can find it easily so you can get back to it. Now, what you want to do is go back to iTunes and go ahead and plug up your device that you're going to be updating to iOS 8 to your computer uh, with a little USB cable. So go ahead and plug it in. It'll pop up on iTunes and now you're ready to go. Now what you want to do is go ahead and hold in the shift key if you're on Windows or the option key if you're on Mac on your keyboard. And while you're holding that in, you're going to go ahead and go to iTunes and click where it says update your device. Now what's going to happen is a little window will open up. And what you want to do is select that .ipsw file that I told you to drag to your desktop earlier, which is the iOS 8 update file. So go ahead and double click on that and it should start updating and that's pretty much it. You just sit back, relax, wait, and uh, your device should be updated to iOS 8. Now that's for if you're on iOS 7. If you're actually on an iOS 8, uh, developer build like you're still on a beta uh, what you want to do to update to the GM build is actually do the same process except click restore and if any of you guys are having problems like little bugs or errors or something pop up uh, you can also try that process rather than clicking update just go ahead and try the restore button and uh, now that will actually wipe everything off your phone you'll have a fresh restored phone but again like I said before you're gonna back up all the stuff before you do this so you can just sync it all back uh, and you'll be good to go here's two little tips to help you out if you do end up running into problems or something like that uh, where your device gets like locked up uh, what you can do is hold the home and the power button in until it reboots and that may fix it right there and if rebooting doesn't work another thing you can try is putting your device into DFU or recovery mode I'm not gonna explain how to do those in this video but if you want to you can just google it I've got guides on it too uh, you pretty much do the same thing with holding the home and power buttons in it's just like a different process of doing it and then you can restore your device in iTunes that's just if you have issues and problems which most of you guys probably won't all right so there you go hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you went through the process and everything went okay uh, you should have iOS 8 on your device go ahead and enjoy it uh, if you want to I'll put a link down below to my video I did on iOS 8 to like show you all the new features in it or if you're considering whether you should upgrade to this yet I can go check that out too to give you an idea if you guys haven't done so make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel right there so you don't miss any of my future videos uh, once the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 plus comes out I'll be getting both of those doing tons of videos on it for you guys uh, plus probably some videos on iOS 8 who knows uh, tons of videos coming make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them and I will see you guys in the next one peace